Hello, Vic here. Today is going to be an informational video concerning modifications. I have seen a lot of people struggle with gearing up and that planets like Europa or Sedna are a little bit too difficult to proceed the game. So first up, let's discuss some essential baseline modifications for Warframes. For health, you have vitality. For shields, you have redirection. Armor is steel fiber. Power strength, intensify. Power duration is done with continuity. Power range is stretch. And last, efficiency is streamline. You can never go wrong with fitting these modifications on your Warframe. Most Warframes benefit greatly from at least 6 out of 7 mods each. You should not focus on maximizing the mods during the early game. You should try to find the silver lining between your endo and credits and what you can get out of it. For example, increasing a vitality mod from rank 9 to 10 is the same cost as bringing your steel fiber or redirection mod from rank 0 to 9. The 40% base increase to your health is heavily outweighed by the extra effective health you gain from doubling your armor or shields. You can use this cheat sheet to increase your essential mods list. Health should be prioritized to rank 6. Armor or redirection, which depends on your frame, should be ranked to rank 6. The 4 ability improvements should be ranked up side by side. You want to have these at rank 5 as soon as possible. To slot these 6 mods into your Warframe, you need to use an Ara modification. Ara modifications can be bought from Nora as a Nightwave Cred offering. Here are some great Ara modifications sorted by polarity. For the Y polarity, Steel Charge or any Amp Aura will increase your damage. For the Dash polarity, Energy Siphon, Corrosive Projection or Enemy Radar will increase your utility. For the D polarity, Rejuvenation or Physique will increase your defenses. As you can see, my Mac has no capacity left. I am unable to mod it any further. Unless I either add a Forma or an Orokin Reactor. The most efficient way to upgrade it is by adding a reactor. But these are quite hard to come by and are best bought from the market or bought from Nora for creds. Now that we can slot again into our Warframe, I want to talk about Cetus modifications. Cetus offers missions that allows you to farm modifications that gives a less powerful boost to your Warframe, but they are much cheaper to slot into. Once you have the base mods unlocked and the weapon with their essential damage mods, you should be able to clear the missions with your team and reap the reward. Other mods that you might want to consider are Rush. Mobility is a key factor in Warframe that allows you to run past small corridors much faster or outrun enemies when in a tight spot. Flow. This increases your energy total. I personally advise to either run Streamline when you don't have much energy during a mission or run flow when you have a warframe in your team that can supply energy. Thief's Wit This modification allows you to find more loot and hidden containers around the map. Either Rage or Hunter's Adrenaline Both held to energy conversion mods. This works great with the mod Life Strike to regain lost health. Rage is the cheaper one while Hunter's Adrenaline provides a slight boost in energy gain. All of the above mods are quite easy to obtain as they are either a drop from a boss, a bounty or a mission reward. This will make your Warframe supercharged in no time.